Welcome into the Chiefs Report. I am Harrison Graham. Lots of news and a couple of rumors to get into on today's show. Uh, starting with the newest member of the Chiefs as general manager Brett Veach stays busy this offseason. A couple of months ago we were talking about how the Chiefs had $177, bucks, half billion dollar contract later, Chris Jones uh, signing later. And now Tedrick Thompson inks a deal with Kansas City. Now, let's just break this down a little bit. Tedrick Thompson isn't very good, but he is an insurance type of safety. 2017 fourth round pick out of Seattle. You know, uh, they asked for a trade this offseason. They couldn't find a trade for him because he's not great. So they decided to cut him loose. And now Brett Veach has uh, brought him on board on a cheap one-year deal. Details yet to be disclosed, but I assume it's for the minimum. Uh, 16 starts over the past two years. Finished last year on IR. Does have three picks the last two seasons, so he can make a couple of plays here and there. Does get beat a lot in coverage, though. Not your ideal coverage safety. But as a backup, as an insurance type of guy, if Juan Thornhill isn't ready to go at the beginning of the season, if, if he's your number four safety, he could certainly do a whole lot worse. I think he's still obviously behind Matthew Thornhill and Dirty Dan Sorensen. Maybe he competes with Armani Watts as safety number four for a back end of the roster type of spot. Doesn't be, mean he's going to make the team, but I do think this is a good, cheap insurance signing for Brett Veach who continues to have an outstanding offseason as uh, the Chiefs general manager, one of the best offseasons I can remember in recent history. Grade Brett Veach's moves this offseason, A, B, C, D, or F. Factor in all the moves, the draft, everything that the Chiefs have done with their roster, A, B, C, D, or F. I think you got to give it an A. I think he's done pretty well so far. We hope we're doing as well as Brett Veach is here on the Chiefs Report. That's a high standard, but if you like what we do, go ahead and subscribe. I've been told we have to reach 5,900 subs on today's video. We're 32 away as I'm filming this. Not that much. Thousands of you guys watch. Not every one of you is subscribed. So hit that big red button. Help us, re help us reach our goal. Don't want to have to go into the boss's office and be like, eh, we fell a few short. Just 30 or so of you subscribe. That way we keep plugging out videos for you guys. Hit that big red button. All right, Patrick Mahomes news. Is he feeling royal? Well, he's a part owner of the Kansas City Royals now as he continues to have one of the most glorious, uh, you know, years of all time. While 2020 sucks for most of us, it's been pretty great for Patrick Mahomes. You know, he, he won a Super Bowl. He won a Super Bowl MVP. He inked the largest contract in sports history, and now he's a part owner of the Kansas City Royals. Is there anything this guy can't do? Like, this guy is living his best life. He's playing celebrity golf, for Christ's sake. He can do whatever he wants. Is Patrick Mahomes the best athlete in the world? It's got to be yes, right? I'm making this the pinned comment on today's video. Type Y for yes, type N for no. He is living his best life, and he's doing it with class as well. He is a very good role model for all Chiefs fans. Here's the quote on getting involved with the Royals organization saying, I'm honored to become a part owner of the Kansas City Royals. I love the city and the people of this great town. This opportunity allows me to deepen my roots in the community, which is something I'm excited to do. This guy just gets it. He understands what it means to be a leader and a franchise quarterback for an NFL team. I, you know, you just what he's been able to do in his short uh, part of his career, not only on the field, but as you're seeing, especially this offseason, off the field as well, getting involved in the community, now being a part of the Royals organization, it's a win-win for everybody involved. Look at what this guy's done this year. Like I said, he won, this, uh, he won the Super Bowl and the MVP, brought Kansas City to their first Super Bowl in 50 years. $500 million contract if, you know, he reaches all the incentives. GQ cover story just a couple of weeks ago. Now he's a part owner of the Royals. Like, this has been the greatest six-month stretch I can remember for any athlete ever been pretty glorious. Now, if you want a Patrick Mahomes jersey, you can go to this link, chatsports.com slash Chiefs jerseys. We have jerseys up to 25% off. The Mahomes one isn't. It's still only 100 bucks. The rest of these, though, right now, if you order today, $74.99. You get a Tyree Kill one. You can get a McCall Hardman jersey. Most of the jerseys on that link are going to be 25% off for just 75 bucks. So go to chatsports.com dot com slash chief jerseys also not shown frank clark jerseys are available you can get a Derek thomas jersey for you you know older chiefs fans who have been fans of the organization for a long time i'll put that link in the comments i'll put it in the description take advantage of this jersey sale at chatsports.com slash chief jerseys the nfl top 100 list uh, leaves a lot to be desired but uh, it is a trendy topic right now 
Chiefs have five players on there so far. We'll get to that in a minute. But Mahomes has a chance to be number one. Uh, the NFL has revealed players 100 through 11. Top 10 is set to be revealed tonight. And Mahomes is one of the 10 remaining players because they've told us who the 10 players are, but they'll reveal the, rank, the actual rankings tonight. He was number four last year. Can he get the number one this year? I think there's a pretty good chance. Here are the players remaining uh, in line to be uh, in that top ten. This is just alphabetical order. This is no uh, order whatsoever other than uh, last name here. Aaron Donald, Stephon Gilmore, uh, Derrick Henry, which I found a little curious to be in the top ten. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins, the new Cardinals wide receiver, of course. And then Lamar Jackson, the reigning regular season MVP. Uh, five more players here. George Kittle, Christian McCaffrey, of course. Patrick Mahomes, Michael Thomas, and Russell Wilson. So you've got three quarterbacks in the top ten here and Pat Mahomes, Russell Wilson, and then Lamar Jackson. Who deserves to be number one this year? Try not to be biased. Look, biased or not, doesn't it shouldn't it be Mahomes? Super Bowl MVP? Like, it's gonna be tough to be. He was number four last year. He can only go up. I think he's gonna end up being number one. So if you think it's Mahomes or for some reason someone else, type your answers down in the comments section. Now, here are the Chiefs players already in the top 100, and there's some good ones. Frank Clark snuck in there at number 95. Chris Jones, way too low, in my opinion, at number 52. I thought he should have been a top 40 guy. Uh, Tyra Matthews sneaks in at number 39 inside that top 40. And then Tyree Kill and Travis Kelsey coming at number 22 and number 18. Uh, did the NFL players just forget that Mitchell Schwartz exists? I think so, and that's why this list in a lot of cases is flawed, right? Like Todd Gurley's number 51. Todd Gurley sucks now. Like, it's a lot of name recognition. You know, it's it's not the best list in the world, but if Mahomes ends up being number one, that's not so bad in the end. Hopefully he gets there. Again, This uh, the top ten gets revealed tonight on NFL Network, or you can just check on Twitter. All right, uh, last little rumor here. Kalechi Osimile, could he be better than Laurent Duvernay-Tardif, who has decided to opt out of the 2020 NFL season? Well, a Raiders blogger on Fanside was like, oh, he's way better. He's going to be an upgrade. Let's wait and see. Like, I like Osimile. I like the pickup. Obviously, he spent time with the Raiders from 2016 to 18, did some good things, including being an all-pro back in 2016. This is a really good move by Brett Veach uh, over the past few days to bring him on board, right? They reacted quickly. DuVernay Tardif opted out for good reasons. Within 24 hours, they had a legitimate starting caliber guard in Colegio Simile be brought on board. More of a power guy. Uh, Andy Reid typically likes mobility within his guards, but hey, I think he's going to plug in. He's going to be your right, ta or right guard this year, in my opinion. I think Andrew Wiley's got the inside track to be left guard. Obviously, the tackle spots in center is pretty set for 2020, barring an injury or a last-minute change. But I think everybody wants to know what the guards are going to look like. I'm pretty confident Osimile's going to be one of them. But who do you guys think will be the two starting guards for the Kansas City Chiefs this year? Let me know. I think it's going to be – I have Osimile and Wiley as of now. I'm pretty confident in Osimile. Wiley, 50-50. Eh, we'll see what happens there. I think that left guard spot could be up for grabs in training camp. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. And I mentioned, look, Kelechi Osimile, I'm not convinced he'll come in and be a better player than Duvernay Tardif this year, but he's got a nice little resume. He was an All-Pro in 2016. Made the Pro Bowl in 2016 and 2017. Last couple of years, though, he's been banged up. In 2018, only played in 11 games. Last year, that was there was the whole dispute between him and the Jets uh, regarding uh, how serious a shoulder injury was. He opted for surgery. The Jets did not recommend that. They thought he should have gone the route of uh, just rehab and not going on IR. So that was a whole dispute. So they cut him loose. And now the Chiefs have him on board. Hopefully, he can get healthy and be a part of this team in 2020. Quick reminder here of our jersey deal. We got jerseys up to 25% off at chatsports.com slash Chiefs jerseys. Lots of different ones available. A lot of the red ones are on sale. That's why I'm showing those. Tyreek Hill, McCole Hardman. You can get a Travis Kelsey jersey. All these just $74.99. Tyron Matthew is as well. Now, we do have a Patrick Mahomes jersey. Uh, it is full price, so at $100. Bucks, but that's still a lot cheaper than you're going to be able to find on most selling outlets. So if you want that, go to chatsports.com slash Chiefs jerseys. Lots of different ones to choose from when you go to that link. Again, it's going to be in the comments and in the description.